good day guys welcome back to Kotlin programming previously we discussed about the types and variables in Kotlin now we need to discuss about the nullable types as early as possible because later on we need to implement null safety checks in our code early on to avoid the uh, one of the most common errors in Java application so the null pointer exception in Java a special null value can be assigned to an object reference Null pointer exception is a kind of error that arises when an application attempts to use an object reference that has a null value. So if you do not explicitly check if the object is null before accessing it, null pointer exception will be raised and will crash your application. The thing is that you cannot detect it during compile time. It appears during the runtime execution of your application. So to avoid that, we need to write a defensive code in our application. Uh, fortunately, Kotlin enforced that kind of programming on its structure by converting null pointer exception from a runtime error to a compile time error so that a uh, programmer can detect it early on. Kotlin added nullability safeness mechanism to its type system. Uh, this is possible because Kotlin type system distinguishes between references that can hold null value and those that cannot. Uh, this feature can detect many errors related to null pointer exception at very early stages of development. Uh, let's, uh, let us first look at Java on how null pointer exception can slip on your application. So I created a program here. Uh, this is written in Java. So when you declare a string and it, it has an initial value, You can still access its underlying public methods and it will it will cause an error when you run it but during the development there's a there's some hint in our IDE that uh, this volume might be a null but it, it's just a warning it's not it will still let you compile your program and run now if you want a much less obvious example so here I created a class so class a and it has a private uh, private member of type string so we have a constructor and we have an, a getter method so here is our class so if we declare an object of type A So now this is this is fine so we can access uh, let's say we want to get the ppl the character is ppl in the, in the word apple using the substring method okay so when we run it this is fine and good so there's no error but if somehow the private member becomes null and we access we are still accessing it in our program as you can see there is no warning there's no warning at all so it uh, it shows that our program is fine so when we run it um, okay so we have a crashed program so that is what we call the null pointer exception error so now let's look at how the Kotlin introduces this uh, safety mechanism of checking a null value. In Kotlin, you need to define that a variable may be holding a null value like this. So var variable string. So to make the variable variable to be to be able to hold the null value, you need to precede it with question mark and then our initial value. Okay then we can assign variable is equal to null so let's uh, if we declare a normal variable like this var fruit string is equal to banana if we assign a null value in the fruit variable we cannot print it because it's an error as you can see this is a compile time error because of the red squeal red squiggles uh, beneath the variable fruit now with this construct assignment of value to fruit variable that might be null will result into compile time error while the vegetable variable will be acceptable since it can handle null but that is for the declaration so what if 
uh, we use the variable and given that it is a string most of the time we access methods to manipulate the string like this so var len of fruit is equal to fruit dot len so this is this code is safe because there is no way that the fruit object will be null now if we access the same property for the vegetable which can handle null value so let's say var len of veg is equal to vegetable dot len uh, this will be an error and the compiler will not allow this since there is a possibility that, that the variable uh, vegetable might be null so how are we going to access it so one way is to use is what we call safe call by using the operator uh, question mark and dot or question mark and period so like this So, vegetable question mark length. Uh, this one returns either the valid length of string or a null. So we can uh, we can still use it in a variable that cannot hold null, but it is not necessary because uh, it cannot hold null values. So here it is basically saying that if vegetable is null, use the null value. Otherwise, get that value which is the length. So when you have a nullable variable and you are not sure if that variable contains a null, uh, use the safe call whenever you need to access that variable. So the other way to access a nullable types safely is to use the Elvis operator, which is a question mark and colon. So they called it Elvis because, um, as you can see, uh, I don't need to explain it. Okay, So that is the Elvis operator. So how to use the Elvis operator? So basically, it's like a null, uh, null coalescing operator in C# or a ternary operator in Java. It is used like this. So let's say um, we need to declare a variable and we need to get the length of the string inside the vegetable variable. So val length of veg is equal to vegetable. So we are going to use the safe call and then the Elvis operator and the negative one. What this code means is that if the vegetable is null, the value negative one will be used, otherwise the value of the length. The thing to remember this is that if the variable vegetable is null, the right operand of the Elvis operator will be used, otherwise it is the left operand. The last one called the not null assertion operator. So the symbol being used is the double exclamation point. Uh, this operator converts any value to a non null type and throws an exception if the value is null. So to use this, so val length is equal to vegetable, and then the operator double exclamation point dot length. So if we print length, or we can get the length value. But if you assign, but if there's a time that the vegetable receives a null value, your program will crash during runtime and will throw a null pointer exception. So if you want to have a null pointer exception, you can force it explicitly in Kotlin using the non null assertion operator. But beware to use this because. Uh, it overrides the security checks of Kotlin imposed on your program when checking for null values. So to review, Kotlin by default does not allow null objects. You need to explicitly sign your variable using the question mark operator. And you can handle it properly using the safe call operator, the Elvis operator, and the non-null assertion operator. Just be more cautious when using it. So that's it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, just feel free to write in your comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be up to date on this Kotlin tutorial. See you guys!